All right, so uh, new update here, uh, making some good progress, uh, slow but good, on the Arduino and Canvas setup. So what I've done today is I've worked through the Arduino code, the IDE, uh, to ensure that, or to set up, so all five of these Canvas shields are uh, initialized correctly, and that each of them can send messages out. Uh, I have yet to confirm uh, receipt, but if they can send, they can receive. So if they can do one, they can do the other. The other thing I did is on this shield board right on top of the Arduino Mega, I soldered in, uh, sorry, it's a little hard to see there. I soldered in that guy. And uh, what that is is an onboard uh, barometric pressure sensor. So I figured instead of mounting one in the car and having to run extra wires, uh, I could just mount one right on the board and just uh, monitor barometric pressure um, inside the car. Again, just as a reference point, uh, that data is available from the ECM, uh, but the ECM also has an internal barometric pressure sensor. Uh, and I, um, I don't have a way to validate the data or the conversion coming from the ECM uh, in a way that I'm confident in. So adding one here, I can make sure that it's doing working right. So this guy is just a little, it's an MPX 4115A uh, and the three pins on the left are used. Uh, far left pin is the output in zero to five volts. The second pin in is a ground pin and the third pin in is the uh, voltage supply uh, which is a five volt uh, voltage supply. So pretty simple wiring. The other three pins on the on the right don't matter. Uh, that's how I've got it wired in there. You can see the the one black wire that's running over to um, a one uh, analog input to the Arduino. So long story short, I've got uh, barometric pressure going to the Arduino, uh, and then I've got all five CAN bus shields set up and I've got it sending messages. So what it's sending is the barometric pressure. Uh, so I've got the same message being sent across all five buses. Right now, uh, these two shields have the um, termination resistors uh, set on the bus. Uh, so these two are gonna go to the um, components that I've added to the vehicle. So things like the e-boosters, the 48 volt BMS, this shield here and the two up top are going to be wired to the factory CAN buses in the car. And so I had to eliminate the uh, termination resistor because those buses are already terminated in the vehicle. Um, so for now, just to prove out one of them, um, I've got a 120 ohm termination resistor just temporarily wired in. Uh, to that lower bus just to make sure that it's working like I want um, and ultimately all five of these buses will have these wire pigtails coming off and go into the plug on the um, on the box that I'll 3d print so I'll go to the harness essentially so um, my other older Android phone here I'm using to look at uh, it's saying 932 uh, hectopascals, I think. Anyways, this is essentially equal to 93.2 uh, kPa. So if I plug in the Arduino here, you can see all five buses light up with green, saying they're powered, and then they'll light up with red, saying that they're actually uh, sending and or receiving. And then here I've got the uh, PCAN uh, CAN to USB guy. So I've got him pulled up. Um, maybe the first thing I'll show is, let's see if this works, sketch. There we go. So I've got some serial outputs uh, confirming all five of the buses are initialized. So um, 
CAN1, that's the uh, first e-booster and auxiliary bus. CAN2 is the second auxiliary bus. And then I've got the um, shields assigned to the powertrain bus, the private bus, and the comfort bus. And then all of those, just to, for a reference, took nine milliseconds about to initialize. So really short uh, initialization. And then this guy here is the PCAN tool. So right now this would be showing the CAN messages that it's receiving. And so as soon as I plug in this guy to, let's go to the lowest bus here, which is, let's see if I can do this. Oh, okay. So, hey, look at that. Um, so this is the CAN ID that I've assigned to the message coming from that, uh, that bus. And this data, it's in hexadecimal now, so if I change this to decimal, that second byte, 093, that's uh, kilopascals. Uh, so th what that means is that the Arduino is interpreting the uh, barometric pressure sensor correctly and then sending out that value um, directly. So if there's no conversion formula. Um, but it's essentially sending out exactly that value in kilopascals uh, on that bus. Now, so again, maybe this is valuable, I'm not sure, but 932, so move the decimal point over, 93.2, and you get 93. Um, so the other thing I can do is I'll unplug the bus, or from the bus. And then up here, I will clear this. All right. So now um, I'll just check the second guy. Okay. So, and would you look at that? Uh, it is sending out the exact same message, which is what I have it doing. So um, I'll convert this to decimal. There we go, the 93 again. And that holds true for all, uh, at least three of these bus shields. Uh, I have yet to check the other two, but I'm confident that they're all working the same. So I know that uh, all five bus shields, CAN bus shields, are working correctly. Uh, the single Arduino Mega is able to command all five of those. And that my uh, barometric pressure sensor is being interpreted correctly by the Arduino Mega on that shield board there. So now comes time to wire in all the other wires to this uh, shield board. Uh, get the H-bridge controllers wired in and then design the 3D printed housing for this guy uh, and wired into the car. Uh, and then see what kind of trouble I can get into and in tapping into all the factory buses, the, uh, let's say, powertrain bus, the comfort bus, and the private ECM 1-2 to two, uh, bus. So, wire harness, getting a little wrinkled because I'm working with it a lot. <laughs> and um, I've added a bunch of digital pins here uh, with some different... Um, PWM frequencies, um, because if you can see here, I've got um, the e-booster bypass valve, so that'll be controlled on the on one of the by one of the H bridges, the water meth injection pump on the second H bridge, and then boost control solenoid, uh, so that'll be controlled by PWM output here uh, to a um, small MOSFET based uh, controller, uh, so that the Arduino can have uh, boost control capability. So there's another almost 10 minute video on some CAN bus details. Uh, boy, I could talk for hours on this stuff. So hope you guys enjoy.